Mathematical biology can be used to study a range of problems from the dynamics of individual cells and DNA molecules all the way through to the functioning of entire ecosystems. Mathematical biology gives us the capacity not just to study the environment and human health, but to actually learn from microorganisms and borrow tools and techniques that they've developed through evolution for our own advantage. Mathematical biology is very important because it allows us to bring a suite of quantitative tools to bear on new and exciting problems in biology and answer questions that couldn't be answered in traditional techniques. My group works on infectious diseases. We study how viruses and parasites like the malaria parasite spread within our body and also how they transmit from person to person. We then bring that biological knowledge and the understanding from having the mathematical analysis of it together to try and say new things about the biological world itself and also work in spaces like public health and epidemiology to help support responses to things like COVID-19. So my research group works in the field of multicellular systems biology and what we're basically trying to do is we're trying to use multicellular mathematical modelling to try and understand biological systems. So for example we're trying to understand how tissues in the body form organs and how they function and what goes wrong. So the potential impact for this research is actually being able to identify which models are appropriate to use in which situation and to make sure that when you're making conclusions based on your mathematical models they're actually grounded in reality and not based on artefacts of a particular model. My group looks at different ways to treat certain medical conditions. So this extends from wound healing, where we have chronic wounds that don't heal by themselves and need treatment, but also looking at malaria and how drugs are used to treat malaria. So we've already had some really interesting results come out of the anti-malarial drug resistance work, where we've been able to find thresholds above which anti-malarials won't work to prevent malaria during pregnancy, in infants and in children. And this is results that have been shared back with the World Health Organization. My group is particularly interested in looking at the behaviour of microorganisms at the scale of microorganisms. And so, although microorganisms are very small, the behaviour they exhibit actually scales up to large-scale processes. For example, nutrient cycling in the ocean, the health of coral reefs, and the behaviour of the gut microbiome can all be derived from small-scale processes occurring at the level of individual organisms. The world's coral reefs are facing multiple threats from ocean acidification and rising temperatures. And so to understand how they can survive and thrive, it's vitally important that we understand the microscopic dynamics occurring at the individual cell level. The research that my group is tackling is really trying to understand how cells make decisions. What affects, what drives the behavior of cells in our body but also in the environment. The potential impact of this research is that we are already producing new autoimmune therapies for complex disorders for which no other therapy exists. So in my experience, I think the key really is to establish the framework where people from different backgrounds can learn and work with each other because realistically, in my experience, the people in my group have learned more from each other than they would ever have learned from me. And I think establishing this environment has been, for me, the key, but also the most enjoyable aspect of my working life. The best thing I like about working in mathematical biology is actually working with people. So being able to work with really, really good mathematicians, computer scientists, and also experimentalists to try and tackle something that wouldn't be possible without all of these people working together. Mathematical biology allows me to bring together two fields which I'm really passionate about. I'm trained as a mathematician and I love doing mathematics every day, but I also really want to know that the mathematics that I'm doing and the problems that I'm working on have an ultimate end goal and can be useful in society. When I first moved into this area, I really had to learn a new way of communicating, which was sort of equation free and use lots of schematics and analogies so that I could explain the mathematics that I was doing, which is technical and complicated, to people that don't really need all of that complicated detail, but need to know the big picture ideas of what I'm doing. So one of the most enjoyable things about my job is that I work with people from many different backgrounds. Uh, some of my students have come from statistics, some of them from physics, some of them from wet lab biomedical sciences. I work with clinicians, I work with leaders in government and civil society. So it's a real melting pot of different skills, different experiences, and that's one of the most exciting things about it. And seeing junior members of staff and students grow and learn how to operate in that space and have the opportunity to mentor them and help them navigate, that is also one of the, a really exciting thing that I get to do every day. 
For me, one of the challenges but the joys of mathematical biology is identifying the key features of the system to be distilled and included in the mathematical model. It's very exciting to be able to cut across disciplines and work with people in different domains and we see extraordinary progress in development of mathematical models.